Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. We have another incredible Super Nintendo World update from Epic Universe and Universal Orlando, all thanks to Bio Reconstruct. This will be a rather uh, quick update, and this one again uh, focused only on Super Nintendo World, not the rest of Epic Universe. We'll get to that in another video, but yes, Super Nintendo World is progressing so fast that I was like, oh my gosh, let's do yet another update on it. Bio Reconstruct was over Florida again, or over the side again, and just in a week or two, look how much has changed. A lot of the Mario Kart track, the beginning scenes, you can see there to the bottom right corner there, have been paved over. Donkey Kong coaster track, real and fake, uh, is progressing along very nicely, and the Yoshi track, that yellow looking track on the center of the picture, is progressing very nicely as well. So taking a close look at the Yoshi, Yoshi section first. So you see the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Number 1 is where the Yoshi track is and where Mount Beanpole is going to be. You can kind of see Mount, the frame of Mount Beanpole starting to rise up right now. may look similar, semi-similar to the one in Hollywood when the frame was rising for that Mount Beanpole just a few months ago. The ride path is you see and the snakes around. You can see the low turntables now nearly fully covered. The part where the one is is actually going to be the ending scene. You can kind of see the pyramid starting to take shape right there to the kind of the left of the picture, right near the number three. And that is one of two show scenes, indoor show scenes for the Yoshi attraction, and that is the ending of the ride before you go back into the load station. The number three where the red tower crane is is where to be the entrance to the attraction. Here's an overhead view of the Mario Kart attraction. You can see it's dueling sides. And this is again at the very beginning of the ride. You come out of the load scene into the first couple of show scenes there. And there'll be in those big gaps where they kind of the tracks are twisting, turning. There'll be animatronics and massive beautiful sets. We'll see in Hollywood in the Hollywood version if you haven't seen in the Japan version already. Looks absolutely gorgeous. You'll be wearing your AR goggles, you know, fighting Bowser and trying to win the race. But you can see in the last update, these were kind of just dirt tracks, but now they're almost fully and one one side is nearly fully paved, even with little its little markers um there to guide the ride vehicle along the track. The show building itself is almost fully to uh, topped out, but it's almost fully covered with its ceiling as well, which is incredible. Moving on to the Donkey Kong attraction, this is ex incredible. This is one of my favorite um, portions of land, really my favorite portion because I like roller coasters and I like highly themed family roller coasters like this one. This is something hopefully we will be getting in Hollywood, wink, wink, but um. You can see a lot of the fake track and the real track being installed and footers for more track. That little uh, section where all the white footers looks like a trench right there. About right over where the bio reconstruct credit is. That'll be a water feature for the land and the, the track will kind of go over that. And that trench right there, which is really cool. Can't wait to see all that installed and of course the theming. You can see kind of a lift till inside the main show scene for the attraction of the very top of the picture and how the real track is vertical but the fake track is to the side here's a wide view again of the whole land of super nintendo world you can see it's big but it's also very tight i mean the actual space to walk around in uh will be one of the smallest lands on property as a you see the attractions are massive, but the space for the walking is not too massive. Just like here in Hollywood, you don't need reservations for our land. You might need some reservations for that land as well. As the top building to the right or the left is Myocard. The center structure is Mount Beanpole. And it's accompanying Yoshi track, which is that yellow track meandering around there. And Donkey Kong hanging around the very back side, which is which is taking up, again, the longest, part, largest part of the land, and it'll be kind of its own separate 
part two to the land. So it'll be Donkey Kong Country. There'll be a tunnel connecting the two areas, and it'll be feel very different, but feel very Nintendo y. What do you guys think of this Super Nintendo World out in Orlando? Are you excited to visit? Will you be visiting Hollywood's, Orlando's? Have you visited Japan's? And what attraction are you most excited for? Mario Kart, Donkey Kong, or Yoshi? Yoshi's Adventure. Um, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. I have some new, some new holiday merchandise you can get right down below in the merch shelf. Happy holidays, everyone. As Halloween has passed, we're now moving into the holidays. So that's exciting. So check out that theme park wizard merch down below. And for more Nintendo updates, subscribe to this channel and have a fantastic day.